All right, welcome back, guys. This is different than before. It's a best of five. We're in the semifinals. There will be a third and fourth place match played, and there will be a grand finals with a best of seven. But we got to see which of these two guys is going to go up against Lilbo in the finals, and which of these two will fall to fight Momu in the third and fourth place match. I'm Rifkin, casting now with Namshar. It's a little bit sad we got no Zerg for you, man. Vortex <laughs> lets you down. But uh, he is, of course, a Grandmaster yeah. Zerg player from Carnage Esports. He's European. He's a Swede. <laughs> But uh, he's a nice guy. So thanks for thanks for casting <laughs> me today, dude. Yeah, sure, man. It's a pleasure as always. Well, let's get into these intros, shall we? Spawning in the top right corner of the map, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for evil geniuses, Light Blue Terran, <laughs> the Muslim. Yeah. And in the bottom left, we've got our blue protospire playing for Team Liquid, powered by HyperX. It is Mana. Okay, so Whoa. mana. Oh, I forgot to turn sounds on. Whoopsie poops. There we go. <laughs> mana just showed us a fantastic series, TVP versus yeah. Marine Lord. The Muslim, though, he played against the Zerg. We didn't really get to see his TVP today. Uh, I couldn't mm -hmm. tell you where it is, how on par. It is it is one of those anomalies where the Muslim, as a fantastic player as he is, and I sit here with confidence that this will be a good series, he kind of disappeared for a while. There's so many players I can tell you exactly how they're playing because we see them on a week-to-week -week basis, go for StarCrafts, WCS, whatever. But the Muslim's kind of been out of the spotlight. And I kind of feel like that's almost a strength for him. Yeah, I mean, I mean, kind of. But, you know, lately he's been, you know, it's obvious that he's been, you know, practicing more and getting getting better. So it's nice to see him do so well in this uh, tournament because uh, he has definitely been improving more in recent times. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool to see, definitely. Probe, please. Ugh. <laughs> Oh. Got a Reaper coming out. Mana staying on one gas. It's gonna be a one gas expand, so probably no oracles in this game either. It seems like he does like to change it up a bit from game to game. Ah, I don't know. I always I always get so salty about oracles. There's some good oracle <laughs> use TVP, but uh, I always gotta give up. Half swaps is truthfully the only player, even with the Koreans, half swaps is the only player who's ever impressed me with his oracles TVP. I mean, sometimes yeah. you get them, they're good, they get sniped off. I, I, ZVP, I think, as well, same sort of situation. Oracles okay. were, at one All point, right. just like... And they still, I guess, are technically this unit that can end the game. But everyone's going to learn to accommodate around them and expect them and anticipate them. Yeah. I mean, thing with mana, though. When I think about mana, I've seen a few games of him where he goes for this. I mean, I don't see a lot of other players do that. We go for the very late Oracle. I mean, we saw a game two versus marine lord which he actually lost but he goes for that late oracle waits for the army to move out looks with the observer when it does and then moves in with the oracle like yeah. he likes to do things like that and, and I, can, I can appreciate that i think that's kind of cool you know rather than the just oracle rush you know just pray there's no widow mine or enough marines or whatever so it's uh kind of like uh, that bill but obviously not something you want to be doing every game because it'll just be it'll just be predictable and you won't get anything done with it so he seems to like to change it up a bit. Um, he's got a probe actually on follow. Hopefully he realizes. Well, not following, but killing this SCV. Oh, oh, that's like a type for first blood, man. He killed an SCV as the Reaper died. <laughs> yeah. Vengeance. Yeah, I was, no, I'm in in, uh, in Manas mineral line. He's got a probe, like not mining. So, well, oh, hopefully he notices. But but all right, let's see what the Muslim is doing. Pass plus one. We saw Marine Lord do this on Overgrowth. So it's very quick plus one, you know, way before mm. statement well, this... and stuff like that. So it sets him up for the mid game pretty well, right? He's gonna have one one relatively quickly. Right, and this is something I was talking about a little while ago too. Like where the Muslim was like the guy who made this build. Like I'm sure he wasn't the first one, but it really made it his own. Anytime you watch the Muslim TVP, like the early plus one, that was his thing. Combat shields for the push as well, not going for stim as the priority. Like this is old school the Muslim to me. Some of you may not have seen this because it's fallen out of fashion and it's not really the popular thing to do anymore because uh, overcharge. But the idea with this is you can still go through the overcharge, go to the main, run up that ramp, do some damage. But before we get too far into the game, we've been reading out a lot of shoutouts from Reddit. I gotta read this last one because, of course, it pertains to the players here. PG, or sorry, PGP. God save the queen! Go to Muslim! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the where's the polls, guys? We need some Polish people to get some mana support going. Come on. <laughs> but it's uh, something very interesting though, Rifkin, is that you know when Marine Lord went for this fast plus one, he didn't really do anything with it in the early to mid game. But the Muslim, he's getting combat shield before stim, so he's probably gonna do something like you were talking about a bit, where 
he goes out, you know, into the into the natural of mana quite quickly with Comatino plus one, don't you think? Surely he's gonna try and yeah, he's gonna start moving now. So he's not gonna wait for one one or anything like that. He's just gonna go right now with plus one combat shield. Right, this is what I'm saying though. The combat shield gives yeah. you that little bit of extra health you really need. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you want stim a lot of the time. I'm not gonna argue that. But combat shields lets you take those hits from the stalkers. Look at this. Look how many extra hits it's taken. We just watched the marine die like nothing at all, and now this marine's <laughs> doing great. But the scary thing is, even if the Muslim dives past this, he's gonna go for the probes. There's a Colossus out, right? So he can't really get too much more done. Like two probes, including the third, the one that died earlier. So three total. Yeah. Um, it's okay, I guess. Oh, he doesn't. That observer almost died from the turret. It's so low. Oh, here. Did the must have even realized that he almost killed it? I guess he doesn't have a scan anyway. Hmm. So he did make a turret in an every mineral line. So it looks like he was actually worried of that late oracle thing. Mana does sometimes. So I mean, that's got to be why. We see mana do that every now and then. So he did make those turrets. Oh god, this game really well. gonna work out from. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Yo, I feel like gateways <laughs> and protest things warp in, and they're so loud because they're meant to be so scary. <laughs> it's like the beast howling at you through the warp gates. But okay, so we got Colossus on the way. Are already coming out. We are, we got the extended thermal lens coming at a nice time. There's usually that awkward moment where this. Yeah, you, know, you find yourself with a Colossus, but it's got the same range as a Marauder. You're like, oops, <laughs> I can't fight this. Yeah, let's see. Oh, he's gonna go for three Colossus. All right. But I mean, this is definitely an all-in. Let's see how many gateways this is. So, it's like seven or something. I think so. But and the Muslim went for the third CC at the third base. No kind of like five barracks play, which yeah, is location. a bit unfortunate because it would have been nice for him to have that five barracks production. But you know, he's still yeah, a could lot of be the able times... to hold this. But what is he seeing really? Like if he doesn't expect it, he's just gonna die. And look how mana is moving on the map now. Oh, he's the most boosting out. Oh, he's gonna catch the Meta Vex, maybe, maybe. No, he doesn't have blink. Yeah. The Muslim has so, got to see it. Wait a minute. Why do you have that many stalkers? Like, why did my medevac just get five stalkers on my half of the map, right? So, oh my God. I mean, he know? you know what I learned? We learned yesterday you could base trade a protest uh, by floating barracks over the lake. <laughs> so, I guess for <laughs> the Muslim, he might go ham on this. There's no air out yet. But, uh, yeah, Mana has not signaled the alarm yet. Gets right into the base of the Muslim before he starts actually attacking. Three, four Marauders, whatever, just running for their lives right now. What can he really do? But goes for the snipe on the Nexus. This is a Colossus at home to defend. This is not looking good for the Muslim. Yeah, this is nice by man. He kept the third Colossus at home, realizing that the Muslim was gonna go for this, and oh my god, that was sudden. Yeah, the Muslim just didn't scout for that. He didn't have any information. He just got caught completely off guard. He didn't have a single bunker there, so... Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's kind of painful. Abrupt and disgusting. 